Hi everybody, Rob Keys here, playing The Vanishing of Ethan Carter. This is episode 9 of my playthrough, and we have found our way to the church and cemetery. Uh, we were here before in one of the earlier episodes, but we never actually finished solving the chronology. Chronology? Chronological order? Uh, I got it. There you go. Nailed it. Um, of the mystery here. So I saw a couple of clues, and we went inside the weird tomb. Um, but we didn't actually do it. So here we are. We're going to do it this time. Oil lamp. Uh, okay, so oil and matches to, to turn on. You gotta find an oil lamp. Okay, we'll find that after. Okay, uh. So. Is that blood? No, it's just wet dirt, I guess. There's blood here. Maybe in crow's blood, maybe? What's going on? Nasty. Crow carcass. Crow blood. Blood is paint. It's a ritual. So we gotta find a sharp object that was used to cut open the bird, and... Okay. okay. Mortar, trowel, pile of bricks. So they were trying to close this thing, but they were interrupted by something. Maybe someone had already performed the ritual, because this is all the blood. We know there's nothing down there. There's like the lever with the missing crow, and like it's all dark, and there's like oil along the side or something. Some kind of liquid, which I'm guessing we can light later. Alright, so now. I want to make sure I don't miss anything. So, Buddy was interrupted when he was trying to close that thing. Uh, so, let me make sure I don't miss anything up top here. Nothing over here, right? Nope, nope, nope. Just rocks over here. Rocks, rocks, rocks. Okay, okay. So if we go up down here and to the right, we'll see the regular tombstones. Nothing back here. Okay, let's follow this path. This takes us to the tombstones. This looks like blood. Signs of a struggle. Several different footprints. Oh yeah, see the footprints there. Why does he say crow question mark? Oh, maybe because it's... They think he's thinking it might be crow's blood, but that's... I guess it could be for the person who is spreading the crow's blood all over the friggin' wall um, to make that sigil. All right, let's keep going. There's got to be something here we missed. Symbols are the same, seemingly, so far, anyway. I'll go take a look in the oh what's this? Hello birdie. Oh that's the Oh I get it. We need this. This is this is to activate the lever. No doubt. In the bottom of the tomb. Okay, let's keep going. The big spilt blood all over the ground over there is probably something to do with the body. I'm, I'm guessing this has something to do with Uncle Chad, because he's still the only dude we haven't seen yet. Huh. Some old tombs. Okay, this looks like the end end of the road. Just double back here make sure I didn't miss anything. Looks like we're covered, mostly. Yeah. Uh, no bodies, no murder scenes. Just the crow. Nothing. Nothing here. Is there. Oh, I thought for shiz we'd find like a body or something in there. Okay, that's the beginning. The loop's around. Okay, so let's, let's go inside the big building here. See if we find anything. Jeez, I can't see shit. So, we, last time we, we ran in here briefly, ran to the front. But it was so dark, I just kind of got freaked out. I can't see anything. Oh, what's this? I mean, like a pew? Maybe this is like, like, like a confessional? Oh, we did not see this last time. Oh, there you go. Busted up a uh, lantern. This probably goes where the oil lamp stuff was. Ooh, what's up here? 
Oh, broken stairs. No, pathway blocked. Access denied. Okay. Well, at least we found stuff this time. So we got a um, busted up lantern and a crow, which is the lever. So that's something. Well, uh, let's go back then. See what we can do with these objects. I don't think there's an entrance in the front of this thing, right? No. Yeah, I'm pretty certain this is blocked. Okay, so the way we went in out back is the only way in. Alright, let's figure out where this lantern thing goes. Why are there question marks over there? Oh, the crow. Yeah, yeah, okay. So, oil lamp. Fix. Okay. What the hell? Oh, the sharp object, right? It was cut with a scalpel or something. Okay, we need to find a blade somewhere. Uh, okay, maybe let's take the crow down here and see if we can do something with it. Uh, inspect. So the crow, see the crow on the right? Now we have the crow for the left. Yep. Fix, 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 fix. Do it! Ah, oh, that's how it works. Oh shit, well, this is probably Uncle Chad. What is it saying? Here lies my beloved wife, Vandegrift. Emmets. Emmets Vandegrift was the wife of Albert Vandegrift. And Vandegrift, Albert Vandegrift, owned that big ass house that was burned down at the end, where the crazy demonic room was uh, that Ethan found or was locked in. And the reason the family's living in this old deserted town is because to get the fortune of Albert, husband of Emmets, uh, the stipulation in the will was that they would have to live in this town. Probably uh, for this weird demon spirit thing. So here's that weird crow sigil on the wall again. Body was sacrificed. And maybe it's part of the ritual that summoned the beast in the first place? Or the sleeper? I don't know. Let's figure it out. Cause of death. Probably the big blade in his chest. Facial cut, swallow, minimal bleeding. Blood streaks, back wound. Hello. Wow, that's quite the blade. I'm guessing we're going to take the blade up to the ravens first. Yeah, okay. So the more clues you figure out, the bigger that touch uh, portal gets. Um, but to finish it, I bet we just got to go here where the question marks were. Dagger. Gosh, yes, the dagger was used to cut the crows, um, the blood, which is put here and down here for some sort of ritual. Let's figure out what happened. This should be pretty revealing. Alright, spirit clues, where are we going? the father and mother with the uncle. Maybe, did she hit him over the head with this? Why is he down covering his face like that? He's doing that here as well. Weird. Oh. Okay, father and mother are talking about something. She's looking for something. Oh, Travis is here. Oh, got the whole family, pretty much. And there's a clue down here, I think. Where that blood was. Oh, wow. The back wound. So this is where... This has got to be the last one. If he dies here. No, that doesn't make sense. They stab him in the back. And then he doesn't have the knife stuck in him here. I don't see the knife anywhere. This is weird. I don't understand this. Why would he have the knife? If he's getting stabbed over there, how are they doing these two sequences? 
Okay, well, I'm guessing this thing starts over here. Travis was aligned with the mom, these two, because these were both people who were most affected by the sleeper. And the father is the one who killed the mother because of that. Then he killed himself when Travis was coming. Let's make that one. Make this two, I guess? This is all weird. She has the lantern there. And then, I don't know, three, four. I'm just guessing the knife thing is the last one. Even though it's way over here. So I'm, it's confusing. Well, I guess we'll figure it out pretty soon. Our boy. Chad is putting our boy in that pit. And bricking him up. Giving him to the sleeper forever. Weird. The hell's going on? Where's he? Um, so maybe this is through next. See if that works. Our boy. Chad is putting our boy in that crypt. And bricking him up. Giving him to the sleeper. Forever. The hell's going on? Where's he? God damn it. happen next and then that's four and that's five I don't know this is confusing our boy Chad is putting our boy in that crypt and bricking him up giving him to the sleeper forever The hell's going on? Where's he? Jesus. So. The father came down here. But why is the mom down here at the same time? This doesn't make any sense. Because it that the way that scene ends, it makes it look like. this here. The way they're talking, this has to come before they kill the Chad, because he's currently doing whatever. So, it makes it seem like that's one, but maybe this conversation with the mother and Travis happens last, because it doesn't... Like, why the hell would she be back up here? Maybe that's last. One. Two, three... Four, and it finishes with that? Let's try that. Our boy. Chad is putting our boy in that crypt. And bricking him up. Giving him to the sleeper. Forever. Chad, let me see. Um, yeah. What? How does Travis factor in this whole freaking thing? It doesn't make any goddamn sense. Would he show up at the beginning? Maybe this is... Oh, there's... Fuck. 
Why is she back here with the stupid lantern? Doesn't make any goddamn sense. So six is six inside maybe? No. Wait, one, two, three, four. Why is six an option? Is there another clue over here? Like where the uh where the crow thing was? Where did we find that crow again? Was it back here? Crap. I don't remember. I think it was somewhere back here. I don't see a clue. Oh boy, this is like probably way easier that I'm just like not seeing something very obvious. When does this happen? Oh, no, no, cancel, 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 stop it. Chad, let me see. And it falls apart there, so we have that all wrong. What if I make this two? I just want to see what this was. boy. Chad is putting our boy in that crypt. And bricking him up. Giving him to the sleeper. Forever. You know he's harmless. You know this is wrong. Chad, finish those bricks before he wakes up. Chad, let me see it. Get the hell away from me. This is he should have been helping. Dale's weak. He always has been. You're right. He is weak. Oh, the whole family was against Dale. Jeez. Chad, get off of him. He's your brother. Get off of him. Oh, jeez. They just keep stabbing this poor guy. Got away. The hell's going on? Where's Ethan? The one who sleeps must not sleep. Your uncle Chad is dead. Gross. Ethan. Hey, there you go. Figured it out. Oh yeah. Although the, the logistics of where the characters are don't quite add up. <laughs> It's not right. Ethan's our boy. Dad, I need to get into the mine. What? Mine? My, my key. Uh, I, I don't have it. I guess I'll use the tunnel near the gate. Just, just keep Mom away from me, all right? She's sick. We were all sick. And then Dale had to kill the mom. Okay, so the whole the whole story's kind of piecing together here. The sleeper must not sleep. Ethan disturbed something. Whatever it was, it got out, into the air, and into the minds of his family. Okay, so next up, uh, probably the scariest part of the game, we have to go back to the mines where Dale killed Missy, um, Ethan's dad killed Ethan's mom, and we have to go back down to the lower part of the mines where we saw that crazy zombie walker thing that creeped us the hell out. Um, there's something in that maze we got to figure out. So that's going to be next. If you want to see what happens there, click the like and subscribe and stay tuned. I'll try to remember to put a link down below to the next video when it's live. And thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Cheers.